Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Ali, Alicia, whatever you guys call me. Welcome back to my channel. It is Monday, April 26th. Uh, just wanted to show you guys Kiki, actually, which is why I'm starting my vlog. Kiki! She, ow! She's all hyper right now. Come. Stop biting my toes. Come. She's getting so big. Okay, press the wrong button. Um, pretty soon it's going to be time to take her to get her first set of vaccinations. She's getting older and like, excuse my fat and everything, but she is getting so big. Look at her. She's crazy. Her eyes aren't blue at all anymore. Um, they're green and I think they're going to stay that color. Say hi to Callie. Hi, Callie. How you doing? Rough day, huh? Are you a princess? You're the princess of the house. Oof. What the heck am I doing? Who is this? Oh, okay. But um, yeah, pretty soon she's going to be old enough to get her vaccinations. And once she reaches two pounds, she can get fixed at the Humane Society uh, or Cat Friends, I think. Um, a lot of vets don't do uh, fixes until they're like I don't know six months old which I think that's far too long for wait to wait for cats because they can start re reproducing as early as four months I think but yeah she's so tiny where is she where is she Kiki she is doing so well she is absolutely crazy though I don't know if I can handle this just kidding she's a good girl but at the same time, she is crazy, and this is quite the adventure, having her. Come here. She doesn't like being carried still. Yeah. See? She doesn't like being carried. We're, we're still working on it. We're going to do burrito time again later today, and I will show you guys burrito time with her. What are you doing? I'll show you guys burrito time with her. And hopefully, it'll, don't chew that. Okay, I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, it's now 8 o'clock in the evening. Um, it was quite the day. Uh, so first of all, you guys remember Bunny from my video a few videos back? She, she's missing. So uh, her foster thought that she was just hiding somewhere in the house, but it turns out she may have gotten out because Okay, anyways, um, Gray just jumped into this kennel up here, but we think that she may have gotten out because she hasn't come out of hiding in quite a while now, and hold on. But yeah, so she hasn't come out of hiding in, like, all day. She hasn't eaten breakfast or anything, so we don't think that she's hiding anymore at this point. We think that she got out of the house. So I went to go look for her twice already today. Her foster is like on her third time looking for her already today. 
Um, she's originally a stray in the area, so she knows the area, she knows where to find food and everything, but it's been about a month since she's been off the streets. So we're hoping that she'll either come back soon or that we will find her somewhere so we can trap her and bring her back. She was on, she was potentially being adopted by one of uh, the Foster's uh, really good friends and it's just, it's just hard whenever a cat escapes. They're escape artists. That's how cats are, especially ones that used to, um, ones that used to live outdoors and everything. Sorry, my cats are distracting me. Uh, but hopefully she will turn up soon and she will find her way back home. She's done everything that you're supposed to do, let her box outside and everything. But um, yeah, and then today I also had my first therapy session. It was interesting. We basically did a rundown of like all the questions that I answered for anxiety, depression, uh, suicidal ideation and everything. And it was rough to talk about certain things, but I talked through it. We talked about like different traumas that have happened. Um, and just to get a feeling of where to start. So for now, I'm going to have therapy sessions once a month and we'll go from there. We already have set a, like a few goals of what is like what we're expecting to get done first and then my therapist also said that she will have some homework assignments for me to do which I really absolutely don't mind I think it's really important to um, have things to do to get things done you know like I'm a hands-on learner to like get past things and everything and learn new things I don't know what my cats are doing but um, I'm really excited for this new journey in my life and it was an hour long session and it was it was just rough some of the things I mean I don't know where she thinks she's going she's trying to climb fit her head through the wires of the kennel but she's just not gonna fit uh, she distracted me but yeah um, first therapy session wasn't bad looking forward to the next one I'm just a little tired uh, I rewarded myself after the therapy session with a Panda Express plate and a cookie. I didn't eat the cookie yet, but um, usually after, like, it's just something that I've kind of done that maybe that's why, like, I eat a lot or something, but usually we'll, uh, I will, um, whether it's like an MRI scan or some type of really big doctor's appointment, I usually go out and celebrate with one of, like, with a food I like eating or something like that. So that was kind of what it was for today. I was extremely nervous for this first therapy session, even though it was kind of more like a get to know you and where should we start kind of thing. It, it was just outside of my comfort zone, but I'm really happy that I did do it. Um, but I think that's going to be it for today's vlog. I'm kind of tired and I am going to go out to look for Bunny again. So I'm just going to leave the vlog off where it is. So... Sorry if the energy is kind of low, too. Um, anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more of my videos in the future. And I will see you guys again soon for another vlog.